anyways, it's time for the second show of the day. Guys, it is time to wake up. We have a second show today. All right, it's plan B time. Celsius. Oh! Celsius! Are you all right? Yeah, sorry. I just, I just actually ran the marathon. That doesn't even happen until tomorrow between shows today. <laughs> so you you just did that? Yeah, between shows. How did you do that? That's impossible. I had a Celsius. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> Whoa. Infinity. Oh, infinity? Oh, hey. What's up, Casey? Wow, how did you do infinity, man? Infinity, uh, oh, this? <sighs> yeah. Celsius. <laughs> oh, Merritt. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Why'd you... Hey man. Hey. Just TCB. You know what it stands for at Graceland? Taking care of business. Okay. That was his favorite phrase. Huh? <laughs> what did you huh? what are you typing? I don't How, know. What did you just do? I just finished three reports, finished my taxes, I ran home, cleaned my apartment, and I think I might adopt a cat. How did you do all that? Don't worry about it. Celsius. <laughs> hey yo! Hey! Whoa! What's going on here? <laughs> What is going on back there? Have you guys been drinking Celsius? No. No. <laughs> no what? Everything's fine. Why would you oh, say we that? We can quit whenever we want. We can quit whenever we want. Hey. 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 Wow. Jesus. Oh my lord. How are you doing this, Nick? Oh, Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Welcome back to episode eight. The final episode of the McFly Files. And yes, it is true. We are all trying to drink caffeine to stay awake because Broadway is wild. And and here we go again. <laughs> what are you doing? He's signing all the playbills for Roxy. That's <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> There you go, bud. Oh, hello. The Celsius say we're not yet, baby. Not yet. What is Back to the Future the musical to you? My name is Gretchen, and Back to the Future is such a human story in the least human way. Honestly, it's fun. It make it can make you cry, make you laugh. It's it's fun to sing along. You can dance. It's honestly really just the perfect mix of everything. And you've been tw twice. Yes. So and I will be back. Yes. <laughs> Line farming. Look at that. Very lucky to be here. All right, folks, we have a really, really special treat. I've been reading your comments, and I know that you've been wanting an interview with Roger Bart. And, and we're here. He has agreed to be on camera. However, because of the vocal taxingness of this of this performance um, he has only agreed under the condition that he doesn't use his voice in the interview so um let's do that hey, Roger hey man oh my gosh thank you so so much for doing this man that's not how you oh thanks hi man good to see you man uh, so uh, first question so I was just uh, I was just thinking, you have had such a long and, and amazing career and um, with so many, so many roles. What, what does this role mean to you in, in the grand scheme of your career? So, what is your favorite song to sing in the show and, and, and what does that song mean to you? Also, um, I'm also wondering, like, you know, right here, we got the series of unfortunate events. Um, you know, we have, you've worked on, with so many amazing people, Nathan Lane, uh, you know, Roger, over here, over here, right here. Um, so, where, who is, like, maybe your favorite person you've worked with, and what is the best lesson you've learned from them? What runs through your brain when you know the show is about to start? It still itches? What do you mean it still itches a little bit? That was meant for my doctor. Sorry. Okay, yeah. No, no, understood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Casey is driving me... Wait, was that meant for me? <laughs> I'm honored. Thanks. Yes, yes, thank you for this interview. Yeah. Oh, is it a, that's a goodbye. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Roger. 
I'll see you. I'll see you on stage, man. <sighs> well, that was the interview. I, I I hope one day I can finally get him to talk. And in, in the yeah. Okay. Oh man, that's so sweet. So nice. Kimmy Emanuel, who was yeah. on tonight. Yay! Um, I'm asking you. What is Back to the Future the Musical to you? Back to the Future the Musical is like the best group of people I've ever worked with my entire life. Just like so fun, so sweet. Everyone is silly and goofy and I love it. Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> that was really sweet. He's like, yeah, bro. Yes. Billy, what are you wearing? Oh, God. Casey, I bruised my shoulder and I don't want to draw attention to it. I have been trying to interview Kevin for the, uh, the the past little bit, and for some reason, every time I get around to it, um, you know, I just haven't been able to catch him in time. So, uh, Kevin, what does Broadway mean to you? Hey! Hi. Hi! Okay, so what is Broadway to you? What is Broadway to me? Broadway is theater in New York City. What is Back to the Future of the Musical to you? Are you TikToking while I'm interviewing you? Sorry, is what was that? Okay, Back to the Future means to me family. And yes, the McFly family, obviously, but this family in this show is the literal reason why I love coming to work every single day, and it's the best part of doing the show. It that's, really is! That's, am I right or am yes, I wrong? Yes, yes, yes. I absolutely agree. What's your name? Uh, Oliver. Oliver. You l watch all the vlogs, don't you, Oliver? Yes, yes. And why do you love watching them? Well, it's because it really shows the actual personality of the cast yeah. behind the scenes, and it really helps you get to know them besides their characters. Oh, I love that, man. Thank you. Give me a hug, man. Thank you so much, Oliver. Appreciate you, man. Brandon Chan. What up? Um, so I want to ask you, what is Broadway to you? Broadway for me personally is after doing all my work traveling, whether cruise ships or regional theater or doing tours, it is a chance to live as a New York dancer in New York City. I've lived in New York for years, I've been on the road, barely spending any time in the city, and now on Broadway, I'm a dancer who lives in New York, living the dream. The dream, man. Here. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank Amazing. you. Theater kids in an elevator. So we finally got you. Oh my god. Okay, goodness. what is Back to the Future the musical to you? I mean, Back to the Future just in general is like kind of crazy because it's like it, it I feel like more connected to my mother in a way because like the wow. 80s was her era. And she always talks about 1985 in the way that. Sorry, Emma just. Emma literally just spit water around. <laughs> in the middle of like a really deep it, like, I was conversation. having a deep moment. Like, she all like I was talking to her about Back to the Future, and she was like, you know, 1985. You know, that was the year when a lot of things changed. You know, fashion was changing. Music was changing. You know, so I'm really excited that you're in this show. <laughs> really iconic about this shot. Our uh, costume's waiting. Mayor David James, what is Back to the Future the Musical to you? That's a big question. Back to the Future the Musical to me is a culmination of past, present, and future in my own life and the life of Broadway. Wow. Look at what's come before this. Look where we are now. Look what's coming at you. Wow. Uh, in I terms of our cast, we have a couple people in the cast that I've that are part of my past. I was on Beauty and the Beast with Nate Hackman uh, years ago. Yep. Uh, I think it was 13 years ago. Wow. He's still playing a high schooler. The distant, distant past. The like forever ago past. Like, 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 how was Jesus Christ back then? Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. I saw... <laughs> I saw Lincoln in the, the right before he went to the theater. I was like, "Wow!" Drinks after, never heard it. <laughs> never. Uh, oh, Leanna uh, and I were in Greece together back in 
oh gosh, I can't even, she'll have to tell you the year. Wow. But, you know, Leanna and Nate are both still playing you know, beautiful high school students, and I'm now the principal. You see yeah, this? Yeah, but you also play Doc, which is the lead role, so. Oh, not tonight, baby. I'm in. I'm <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm, now playing, I'm now playing my 60s. Wow. <laughs> Incredible. Is that true? Incredible. 60s. No, 70s, 70s. He's 70s. Incredible. Well, I love that answer. Thanks, Merritt. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go. We're up here at the mezzanine, and uh, we're going up here. Uh, the playback like the of, on the LED wall and the projections and everything. Uh, yeah, good. Wow, uh, yeah, all those LEDs on the outside. Yep. It's amazing. Yeah, this Clear. is the light board that basically runs all the lights, and I can fix any problems from here. That's uh, all the network and electronics in the show, so I can make sure everything's connected properly. And then my views of the stage. All right, you can stop. And uh, some more, right, some backup got, stuff over there. The wow. Driver rear sorted for today. Man, this is huge. You know, we're, gonna, we're gonna pop on. I can't. I I don't. I don't even know how to explain how properly like large this station. And this is all just for lights. Wow. They have so much space back here. It's one of the largest, uh, the largest spot booths or, or or lighting towers in in uh, in Broadway. And they got a couch back here, uh, complete with a popcorn bucket. This is oh, above the Winter Garden. We're above the stage right now. Terrifying. And also amazing. And that's that big dome. Look at that. Holy crap, you can see the other end. That's amazing. You can see the, uh, the seats. We're at the very top, right here. This is the original roof of the Winter Garden. And this was all built, this big structure right here, was all built so Rum Tum Tugger's t uh, tire could float away through cats. Amazing. All right, so this is the fly zone. He's gonna fly out the clock tower, which is on this line back here. Very, very, very way in the back. So here it goes. Behind you, Casey. See the weight moving behind you. Counterweights, moving it. And then, moved it up a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of, not yet, yeah, hold on. <laughs> this is the end of the McFly Files. I'm super emotional about it, and I, listen, I wanted to sing about it. Roger can't be here, of course, uh, we, I, he sends his regards, but uh, this is, uh, this is vlog in time. Hit it. Tell me, Roger, what are we vlogging this time? Woo! Hey! Yeah, come on, come okay. on, come on, come on, come on, come on yeah, yeah. Is this a tag team? Watch what happens live. Hey. 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 All I wanted to do ha. Ha. was film Doc behind the scenes. Uh -huh. So take me away. I don't mind. But you better promise me you'll be on my vlog this time. Uh. Come on. Uh. Gotta be on. You better remember, I used to play in the hole. <laughs> Please don't vlog in my face. No. Uh -oh. Not for me your feet again. So take me away. I don't mind. You better promise me you'll be on my block this time. Block, block. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the McFly Files, as far as I know. I think what Back to the Future the Musical is to me is um, the sense of um, really planting my feet in a community and having a community. Um, the family I had in Almost Famous uh, raised me. They were kind of like my elementary school and middle school, maybe high school years, and this has been college. You know, settling your feet, you know a little bit more about yourself now. Um, but you know, you're still figuring things out, but you know, you're, you're discovering a new community. Um, and that's what this has been for me. And I didn't go to college, so this is the closest thing I have to it. So I'm thankful for everybody in this building. I'm thankful for, to be your Marty. I'm thankful um, 
for Broadway.com letting me do this amazing uh, experience of a vlog. Uh, thanks to Paul, thanks to Lindsay, thanks to Nick, thanks to so many other people um, that, that uh, supported me doing this vlog. And um, thanks for being in my vlog, guys. Thanks for watching it. And uh, until next time, which I hope isn't too long from now, we're out of time. Bye, y'all.